So after all those fun and games, calculating our current tax and deferred tax, now we can wrap things up by doing the uh, journal entries that need to be done for 2016 and taking a look at what the income statement would look like. So the 2016 journal entries for taxes uh, are made up of the, the from the, the rough work we did in the current and the deferred and the step one and the step two calculations. So from the step one calculation, we're going to record the current tax expense, which is a debit to an account current income tax expense. 14600 is what we calculated. And a credit to income tax payable. 14600 from the th So that would be to record current tax expense for the year. The, from the step two calculation, the deferred tax calculation, we had a deferred tax expense had to be recorded of $975. And the way the other side of that entry is going to be we're going to get rid of the deferred tax asset that we had of uh, $600 and set up the deferred tax liability that we need of $375. So on the balance sheet. So what have we got? So on the income statement, we're going to have these two values. We're going to go on to the income statement, and we're going to show what the, the statement of earnings or income statement is going to look like for 2016. And for the balance sheet, we've got this value in it that's gone into the current liabilities. And we've got this value sitting in the long term liabilities. This value has been made to go to zero because it was an asset of 600 and we've gotten rid of it. So we've got a long-term liability of 375 and we've got a current liability of 14,600 on our balance sheet. On our income statement, so we've got you know just your normal income statement, sales, less expenses and so on. We'll come down to this net income before tax is 80,000 dollars. The tax entries is going to be made up of two items. You've got the current tax from this journal entry of 14,600, and we've got the deferred tax of 975 expense. Okay, so the total tax expense is 15575 So net income before taxes less the total tax expense, which is made up of both pieces, the current and the deferred, 15575 will give you a net income of 64425 after taxes. And that is the completion of the tax accounting for 2016 for this company. Okay, thanks for watching this video series on income tax accounting. I hope it was of some value to you. Stay tuned for another video series on loss carrybacks and loss carry forwards if you're interested. And thanks for your attention and see you soon.